Hello, this is a short review video on US Army modular sleeping bag system Spirit Bag that is here. It's made out of Gore-Tex material, so it's quite moisture permeable. Um, this is available in two different colors and in two different sizes. I have absolutely no idea if this is regular or extra long. I assume this is regular size and all the measurements and weights I'm going to say in a moment are taken from my BB pack here. Uh, two different color options that is, is this woodland here that has this light green or lime green bottom part and the other color version is in UCP camouflage and if you don't know what the UCP is, that is the US Army kind of grey digital pattern. I would say that in forest condition the woodland is always good. Now, let's go to the measurements. Uh, weight is something like 1016 grams. I would say it's acceptable, especially if you are comparing it something to, let's say, Hillebrook Acto that weighs 1600 or 1700 grams. And the Korean Sales Explorer 2 BB tent weighs approximately 1400 grams. So this is very light compared to those, of course, like the British Goretek covers are lighter than this one, but I would say because this has much better design, design aspects, this might be a good option if you are looking for a really, really good BB pack cover. And now the measurements, the length of this BB pack is 216 centimeters, well approximately and the foot end is about 45 centimeters wide and from the shoulder part that is here this is 80 centimeters wide i would say that this takes every summer sleeping bag in the market and most winter sleeping bag as well especially the civilian versions uh, some military sleeping bags like carrying 30 is 4 in size 200 will go inside this bb bag but uh, as this is narrower than the width of the, the defense 4, um, well, it restricts it a little bit and the hood part is really tight, but it goes in there, in there and you can have relatively comfort <laughs> sleep, but of course, for very wide sleeping packs and especially military sleeping packs, I would say there might be better options than this one. Um, Let's go to the design aspects. Um, as you can see, there is no seams and holes on the top part of the BB pack. And this makes this really good option if you are going lightweight and you only have your sleeping pack and BB pack, no tent or top or basha or anything. So there's no way that the water is going inside the BB pack unless you are sleeping in the swamp. And the the bivy pack has very nice zipper on the side and as you can see this is really non-snagging non-snagging uh, zipper and this has two locks and this is my regular complaint so uh, the first lock has pulleys inside and outside but the lower one only has them in, on the outside. A uh, little bit problematic if you want to open the lower one, of course, because you have to reach from the outside to operate it, but uh, that's a minor detail. Um, there is also uh, a possibility to use these pop locks to secure this actually very well designed stone flap in front of the uh, zipper, so this prevents water getting through the zipper because it's, it's not really possible if there's a people inside here, so the zipper is never never exposed to the rain or to the, let's say if you are in a very moist or wet uh, sleeping ground, the, unless you are in a really in a swamp, uh, water is not coming inside the Corretex. Pack through the zipper. Um, 
Of course, you can use this also so that you have the zipper open in very warm conditions and you are only using this pop locks to secure this somehow in closed positions. Of course, in this way, it's not that watertight because, of course, this is flapping all around. So, but anyhow, that's an option. Uh, we have a really good design in the hood. I would say it's quite generous. So when you are lying inside the sleeping bag, this is not pressing tightly against your face. So that's always a plus. And we have quite well designed in the hood, as you can see. And we have the tightening mechanism naturally with the pull cord and a toggle. Uh, there also is um, Velcro tabs here and here. So if you are in rainy conditions and you want to make sure that this food is not going anywhere, just attach it here. And this is <laughs> really heavy duty Velcro, so it's not going anywhere. That sticks. Um, of course, there is a problem because this food doesn't have any kind of tightening mechanism that would, you could use to secure it here. Of course, if you have some kind of grip device or, well, anything, you can try to roll it like this, but in some conditions it's not advisable that you would breathe inside your pivot pack because that will start accumulating moisture quite rapidly and, and you have a pivot pack to prevent that, basically. So, this is a little bit problematic if this jet opens during the night and goes inside in front of your face and if you don't wake up okay there's a problem okay there's an easy way to go around that because you can just open the zip a little bit and take the first pop lock here or here and attach them to the second pop lock on the block and now I would say it works quite well because even if it would roll it's not directly in front of your face and of course if you want to make this idiot proof you can have it here and because this then rolls like this and it still works a bb back unless it's raining but of course if it's raining <laughs> you should never consider anything like this um, and that's the basic design i would say that this is a really good <laughs> a really good bb back i had like maybe 40 or 50 nights in this bb back and i would have to say that it's it's a really good and well working bb back and that's about it oh the prices i paid approximately 70 or 80 euros i bought this from ebay brand new and it came from us and 80 or 70 euros is with tals and taxis to Finland with postage so I would say this is relatively cheap and also what makes this really <laughs> really good purchase is that this is really easily available from eBay and all army service stores around the world and in relatively low prices so I recommend it